Yeah, I'm going to get on here this, this morning and uh, kind of give you a quick video on uh, the Obamas now that uh, they're out of the White House. Seems like uh, Big Mike has uh, thrown a tantrum and she ditches Barack and her girls and boards a billionaire's jet by herself and leaves them. They were staying in Palm Springs and they planned on spending two weeks there. They, um, vacation. Oh, much needed vacation. They only, they only take about 10 a year. Yeah, much needed vacation. But it says here it was abruptly changed when Big Mike was caught boarding a private jet alone. Brock was photo photographed visibly, visibly upset, leaving an exclusive Rancho Mirage golf course. And the daughters, Sasha and Malia, were nowhere to be found. So she's left everybody behind. <clears throat> and we know why she had the tantrum and demanded to leave. And the article goes on to say, you'll be pissed off because she screwed the taxpayers again. So now the Secret Service that follows ex-presidents around and their families had to scurry around and make arrangements to follow her to this private island that she's going to to get away from Barack and Barack and the two uh, little adopted children. And they're trying to blame it on uh, bad weather and things like that. But if you look at the photograph, it doesn't look like much bad weather. It looks like the picture on the left there, that uh, it's a sunshiny day when she left. So they're trying to blame it on the weather and the constant rain. And she was just fed up. Well, she's fed up because the taxpayers aren't letting her spend millions of dollars on lavish clothes and vacations and, and jet setting around the world and the only friend she has less left is the very few that you know kind of are clutching on and it said uh, Big Mike never did leave the home of Spanish ambassador James Cost Costas and his partner Michael Smith, the gay couple the Obamas are friendly with, especially since they live on an exclusive golf course. Since leaving the White House, the Obamas seem to be reduced to a charity of friends. And Big Mike decided to leave after becoming tired of Palm Springs. And it says here that uh, the flight that she was going to take was uh, delayed uh, they say because of rain so she contacted a uh, billionaire friend Richard Branson who owns an island in the Caribbean and asked if she could come and stay with him right away so she was urgent to get out of there she was caught boarding his private jet without Barack or the daughters and no one's seen the daughters in several days so I wonder if they went back to their real parents uh, they were just on loan anyway. And, it, and then it goes into a little bit more detail that it's costing the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. The Secret Service having to schedule without warning and other accommodations need to be made. But anything for spoiled Michael, who looks pissed off at the airport. <laughs> then they've got a picture, which is not very good. And it uh, says Barack was seen looking somewhat uh, took. Looked like someone had took his golf clubs. Okay. Away after Michael delivered the bad news that she was leaving immediately. Whatever the case, Big Mike is a spoiled brat who is having a hard time realizing that she's not the queen bee anymore. And they've cut their income down to a measly $200,000 a year. Who wouldn't like to have $200,000 a year? I mean, oh my God. Well, I mean, when you come from uh, Kenya, $200,000, you're a millionaire. Yeah, and that's where, they're, where he's from. Who knows where the heck she's from because she's got 
two or three different social security numbers she's used, the same as Odumbo himself. He's used several. And the latest news that came to me yesterday is that she is filing now for divorce. And this is the second time she's threatened that. I think back in 2000 or 2002, she filed for divorce because he lost a Senate race, I believe it was. And uh, she filed then also. So, you know, we'll see what comes of it. But uh, a lot of things are getting ready to come out in the next few days because um, um, Trump is going to unseal the documents that he had sealed. His college transcripts that say that he's a Kenyan-born resident and various other things. And I've seen one copy, and it was a it was a poor photograph, but it was like a cell phone picture of the front of the application where it said uh, country of origin, Kenya. Well, those documents were sealed. Well, Trump said he's going to unseal them, so we'll see where that goes. And then the Odumbos are upset because everything that they have done supposedly for their, the good of the country, Trump quickly is undoing. He has pretty much reversed the last four years already with executive orders. He's right now redoing Obamacare, which was a joke. I mean, confiscating people's income tax for not buying Obamacare insurance. You know, a government can't force you to buy. Now this is in, you know, constitutional. A government entity cannot force you to purchase something that you don't want. And why a class action lawsuit wasn't filed by the American people, I'll never know. I mean, this should have been shut down within two months of it becoming whatever kind of law he passed. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out there and, and uh, show you that apparently they've split up and went separate ways. So maybe this little uh, fake marriage arrangement was for the uh, facade of the presidency. And people were fools enough to vote him in, not just once, but twice. So that just kind of shows you what the uh, stupid sheeple of this country will do. Because... They don't research anything. They believe the Clinton News Network, and they're going out. Thank God for that, because they're a joke. I mean, they want to talk about fake news. CNN is fake news. MSNBC, Fox, which Fox is turning around a little bit, but they're still, they're in the toilet, too. Uh, the, the New York Slime. I mean, nobody even buys that paper anymore. I mean, how they're even staying in business, who knows. But on one good note, it seems like uh, Hungary has seized all of George Soros' funds, and they're investigating him now. Canada right now is in the process of seizing his accounts and shutting him down and, you know, and investigating him. So maybe uh, old George Soros is getting ready to get a rude awakening. You know, he's the one behind Black Lives Matter. He funded that. He funded the Women's March. He funded the uh, 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 protests for the inauguration. And there's another interesting interesting story. You need to look it up. One of the uh, big fires that was started during the demonstration, the uh, child that set those fires, you might be surprised to find out who it was. Uh, remember Drew Carey? It was his son. That came out yesterday. So his son was in the middle of those protests, setting fires, and I guess he's been charged. So wait and see where that comes from. And I know they're calling for uh, protective service, Children Protective Services to investigate uh, Carrie for letting his underage child run around setting fires. So that's just a little uh, uh, news brief there to kind of get you caught up on what's going on. I'll uh, keep you updated on uh, old old Dumbo and... Uh, the divorce proceedings and uh, see if his uh, fake children went back to the real parents. I'll uh, try to get back on here tomorrow and, and update you if I can uh, find anything. If not, it may be a couple of days.
See you later.